right, YouTube, welcome back. Um, these are the ski tie downs that go on my snowmobile trailer. Just want to show you guys real quick. One of them ended up busting. So, uh, the last time we took the sleds out, one of them cracked right down the middle here. It was actually this one. And I still have to drill the holes here, but um, they cracked right. It was like right basically where the hole was dead center so welded that up on this one and then uh, I got some I think this is like 3 16 close to a quarter uh, aluminum flat stock here cut it into seven inch pieces and then uh, welded it on both of these this one wasn't cracked it's a little bent but so I bent it back and um, got them to, to the point to where I could weld these pieces on there. And uh, that's the process that I'm at. Now I have four more pieces. These are actually going to go on either side. Like that. And then I'm going to put one on each side. And then I'm pretty much just going to weld it flat like that to the point to where when I do screw them down the tie down screw itself will be able to just you know crank around and run smooth on the top of that there it does have like a plastic bushing so definitely gonna make that smooth on the top and then the last thing I'll do is cut these holes out and then uh, be done we got we're gonna go on a trip tomorrow up north so figured um, you know, I'd get these done. I actually had to get them done, so this one especially. So being that I was doing this one, I said, you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and do them both. So that's the process that I'm at now. Um, once I get these tacked in and welded up, I'll bring you guys back and show you how it goes. So just in case any of you were wondering what kind of welding setup I got going on here. So Lincoln Electric, 180 amp. To easy make was the the label they gave it um but it's 240 volt i can do mig and uh flux core with it as well as the aluminum mig i'm sure that's classified in there with the mig i guess but uh it's a pretty nice little setup uh the stand i actually got from harbor freight and I made sure to put it together with uh, Loctite and stuff. And it's 35 bucks. It's held together pretty well. Um, obviously, as you can see, it's kind of dirty. I should have got a cover for it a long time ago. But I've done a lot of flux core with it. I haven't done any MIG welding with it yet other than this with the aluminum. But this is it's a North Star Buckeye <laughs> L100. So it's a spool gun setup. Works pretty well. Uh, a couple things that I needed to do well one main thing really well no actually there was two to take that back was put some teflon tape around this joint right here because i found that it was uh leaking around that seal and there is like a it's like a felt seal that go that's on the inside of the copper shield there when it screws on but it, I just wasn't getting good gas coverage, so I ended up wrapping that with some Teflon tape. I actually got the idea from Welding Tips and Tricks. Jody, that owns that channel and does all the videos, uh, he recommended that for other setups. So, you know, that kind of stuck in my mind. And then when I got this, I was like, you know, I'm going to try that. And it worked out well. So I've been getting pretty good gas coverage since then. Um, I've just seen, just so you know how much welding I've actually done with this thing. This is a, a one pound spool. That's how much is left. I use quite a bit on this, actually, on making these, um, repairing these. But um, that's all that I've used. And it's uh, 035. It's the 4043 alloy. And there's been some suggestions that um, I could actually not even use this and just use a regular, regular, like, MIG... Um, line and um, replace the inner shield with a Teflon shield and then just make sure I'm nice and straight when I am welding using the 
the regular uh, MIG uh, cord there. I don't know why the name of that's slipping my mind. Tube? I don't know. But then the other thing I had to do, um, but anyways, I might do that. I don't know. This is working out pretty good. I'm starting to get the hang of it. My welds are looking a lot better, especially this time. It looks pretty good. And it always helps when you have enough material to go to first test out on just some spare material. And then if you're doing all the same welds, you don't have to keep changing your settings. Once you get it dialed in, you just, you know, you know, run your, your, uh, your lines there, your runs of weld. And, uh, you, you know, typically will you, sh you should get, you know, get it down. So, uh, the other thing that I did was the O-rings that are on the end here. So that's for the gas to, you know, obviously it, it seals off a chamber so the gas can get pushed to the tube. Well, on this one, one of them got ripped somehow. So I ended up having to replace that. That's the only thing. So, but other than that, it's been working good. Um, but yeah, that's my setup. So just figured I'd show you guys that real quick. Uh, the inside, it's pretty good. I, I can't remember. I think I paid like four... 450 for this whole thing and then i got my my tank of uh i believe that's argon this is the setup here you can this is a i got the, you could do the one pound or the five pound spools on there and all you got to do is just switch these you got to switch to then the negative ground instead of the positive ground for the mig there and then you just switch this little button here you switch it over to the left to run a spool gun but and you can do uh, quite a bit with this it says it can do up to half inch I believe that's one pass and then anything bigger you have to do multiple passes and that's with 045 wire so it's it's pretty good 180 amps you know that'll that'll get you That'll get you any, pretty much anything you need to get done, you know, around a farm. And granted, I'm not on a farm, but, you know, if we ever moved and got to that point. Yeah, you know, I got tractors and stuff, garden tractors or whatever. So, I can use this for anything. Anything that I need, at least. So, but yeah, it's a good machine. Has it, uh, has it failed me yet? It's dirty. I feel like I abused it, how dirty it is. I didn't never get a cover, but it is what it is. Maybe I'll get a cover and clean it up, and that way I don't have to worry about it getting all super dusty and dirty. So, All right, just wanted to show you guys that before I go and uh, get back to the, the sled ski ties. So just figured I'd uh, give you guys a little peek at what I'm using. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys use and what you guys uh, like. I don't know if a lot of people like stick welding and stuff like that. So I still haven't done uh, TIG welding or MIG welding with this, you know, at least, at least through use, doing steel. So that's something I'd like to get. Um, so I may end up going that route and getting a tank for this thing, you know, a big one. I think that's like a 20 cubic foot. So if I did like a, I mean, I could probably, I don't know what the big, uh, this, the next step up is 40, I believe. So it's 20, 40, and I'm not sure if it's 80 after that, but whatever the big one, whatever the tall one is, you know, the one that's like uh, three, four foot tall, that's what I would get. Cause then I wouldn't have to worry about it. And you know, that's, it would encourage me to, to probably do make a lot more uh, projects here. So yeah, if that's something you guys want to see, let me know. I would definitely, uh, you know, go that route, and I, I definitely want to. Say, I have actually plans. Well, you know what? I'll tell you that in another video. But I do want to build a. I have parts that I'm putting together, and it's it's based off of wheel horse and Kubota, and so what I want to do is I want to uh, make a four by four tractor that has a front end loader on it so you know we do a garden and stuff every year and that would definitely help out getting you know the the soil ready and stuff with uh compost or whatever else 
And uh, yeah, just other little things. And you know, I'm sure I would use that in other ways in the future. So there are a couple things that I still need to figure out. Um, I do have, well, I'll talk about that later. Uh, if you guys want to know more about it, let me know in the comments. All right. All right. So I got both of the uh, sides welded up on both of these. Turned out pretty good. I don't ever really use this this aluminum welder that much, so it takes a minute to kind of uh, dial it in as far as wire feed and voltage. But uh, yeah, it does pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. I think this will uh, really keep these things stable for a long time. So um, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, hit the other one with the wire wheel here, or wire wheel, the wire brush. And then I got a metal hole saw that I'm gonna drill the holes out with, and then I'll show you the finished product. All right, so here is the tie down bolt itself. It's, uh, I don't think it's gonna be, this is gonna be big enough. I mean, I guess I'll try it and then uh, go from there. Oh, the, uh, yeah, look, the plug of the old ones in there. Look at that. Interesting. There's another one. All right, let's see. Maybe this will be just snug enough. Oh man. Well, let's see. I might be able to clean it up with that. This one's a hair bigger. I want to keep the holes as small as possible though. So, all right, let's go ahead and do this one. gone I did it again what let's try some I'm not using the right drill bit with it should have a flat spot on it to lock it in but I think I'm just gonna lock this drill bit in maybe I must have been using it wrong must have must have I'm gonna lock it in and then we're gonna open the drill bit or the drill up and lock in the hole saw. Let's try that. Uh, let's try the smaller bit first. quite. I'd like to put some type of bushing in here. Let's give that a try. All right, so it's pretty simple. I mean, it's just Slides on just like that. Oh, let's see, I might need to turn it around. Oh. For some reason, they're offset on the trailer. As far as how much they grab. Tell you what, though, they grab a lot better. It's a lot easier to even screw them in. Cool, there you go. There's one. Huh? 
outside, inside. <laughs> Man, those fit perfect. Right, there we go. Make sure the bolt brakes on. Good. All right. All right. So that's it. They should uh, hold up for a lot longer now. Definitely beefier for sure. So let's get this guy closed up. Snow's coming down. All right, guys, that's it. Just wanted to show you that little repair. So, um, yeah, if you guys like the video, go ahead and you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, hit the alert bell. And, uh, you know, if you want to comment, go ahead and comment. Um, like the video, share with all your friends and family who you think might get a kick out of that kind of stuff that kind of content on uh, social media. And uh, I thank you for your support. So, all right guys, take care and come on back.